sorry I haven't been posting for quite a bit quite some times ever since um, Christmas kasi nagka run kami ng konting setback um, as you all know that my husband is fighting stage 4 colon cancer and so um, we had our family gathering on December 24th um, we were limited to 10 visitors only so which is perfect kasi sampu lang naman sila so we did follow the rules and regulations just to let you know and then on the 26th of December um, myself and my four kids and my mom um, suddenly got sick we started having sniffles and a little bit of cough no sore throat um, Kayla had a little bit of fever but it went away after a day or so so kala namin um, just a regular flu or just a regular cold kasi during that week our temperature dropped to negative 14 negative 15 and we had a snowstorm so after that so after that knowing that my husband is sick so i told my husband uh, i will be sleeping on the couch so nag move out ako sa bed and then we decided to kasi nga may sniffles and then uh, my kids started coughing and my mom started coughing so we took uh, some precautionary measures nag mask na kami sa loob ng bahay and then i asked my husband to wear an n95 sa bahay and then from there uh, we got a call on the 27th from hope's boyfriend matthew thank you matthew um that um he also got sick uh and the only place that he had been was dito sa bahay so we were kind of like, hmm, this is kind of you know uh suspicious had a lucky him he um had a rapid test done at home he had a home kit so i called my doctor and then my doctor did do advise me that yeah you guys should get checked and then from there we booked an appointment at a covid center and we went and um, after 24 hours we all got the test result and that's including reggie miss kiwala siyang cold symptoms or cough symptoms uh he was exposed to us so i wanted to make sure that he is um, safe and then so we all got tested and then 24 hours later it all came out positive uh except reggie thank god for that because um yun ang kinakatakutan din namin but it was sad to say that uh, my mom had the covid she tested positive so we were scared for her more than scared for ourselves um and then my doctor had called us again and said that look there is no cure for there's no medicine for covid no antibiotic can cure covid except these things that you need to do and so we took her advice and uh, we do stop on our medicine oh sorry we do stop on our vitamins what are the things that we should be doing so we dosed up on a vitamin d3 and vitamin c plus with zinc and um, for five for seven days we had to double up the doses so we were taking all of us were taking 8,000 milligram of d3 and then the vitamin c i think 4,000 milligram i think or 2,000 milligram of vitamin c plus zinc and then just plenty of fluid doesn't matter what kind of fluid just as long as inum ka ng inum whether cold juice um water tea whatever it is because sabi niya, you need to flush it and uh, you need to keep peeing so the virus won't stay long in your body so that's what we were doing so during that time um when we found out that he that my husband was negative uh that night i told him to evacuate and he, he had to pack his stuff i couldn't touch him i couldn't go near him i couldn't help him it was it was a sad day for everyone that he had to leave the house and even though it was sad um it's better for him to be safe and and away from us so we booked him in a hotel and um, he stayed at a hotel for uh, more than more than a week or so and uh, until we made sure that uh, he had another place safe place for him to stay um, so during that week new year passed 
a New Year's Eve passed, uh, none of us were eating very well. Uh, we kind of lost the sense of taste and a little bit of sense of smell. Nawalan kami nun. But we were trying to eat as much as we can. Uh, we were trying to keep down food as much as we can. Pero hindi talaga. So we were just like depending on the vitamins and then the fluids and then kung ano lang yung makain namin na we could think of na na would sustain us for the day. Like, hindi naman kami nag stress out in regards to like eating because we weren't feeling hungry at all. And so, since everyone was positive at the home and then Reggie is out of the house, we can roam around. But ang ginawa lang namin is to, uh, uh, we were wearing masks all the time even though we were all positive. And then lahat ng dishes na ginagamit namin, I had a little basin na nilalagyan ko ng a little bit of bleach and dish soap na nakaran siya sa hot water and then we drop everything there. We leave it there, iniiwan namin doon and then at the end of the day, I would wash it with really hot water. So yun ang ginagawa namin or another option to be safe is for you to use um, disposable plates and spoon forks cups. And as for my mom, we wanted to make sure na hindi na siya talaga magkaroon pa ng severe uh, side effects from COVID. So we isolated her and the only uh, time that she goes out is during her dialysis day which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And during non-dialysis day, she would stay at her room and I would bring her food, I would bring her all the stuff that she needs and um, everything is, for her is used disposably para hindi na ako mahirapan maghugas or mag go back and forth. So pagbigay ko ng food sa kanya, tapo na lang niya. And then, the usual protocol, of course. Uh, Pagpuno ng basura, iniiwan niya sa front door. And then, uh, I'd collect it. And then, during non-dialysis days, um, oh, actually, during dialysis day, when she leaves the house, I would go in and disinfect everything for her. I would strip everything for her. I would disinfect all the stuff that she touches, uh, the toilet that she uses. She has her own private bathroom. Uh, I would air out her room, um, name it, like talagang inaano ko yun, ina-air out ko, nililins ko, dinidisinfect ko para matanggal agad right away yung virus sa room niya. And then from there, um, pagdating niya ng dialysis, then the room is of course clean na, disinfected na, so she would feel a little bit better. And then um, may dumadating na homemaker sa kanya. Homemaker is like someone who would help her change. Um, uh, help her give her a sponge bath um, kasi medyo weak na siya, um, very fragile so we got some help na pumunta every night to to do that for her and it's a big help for me uh, also kasi I get a break from doing that from helping her as well so after that um, 10 days had passed the kids had decided na um they should get tested again so they went to book an appointment and get some rapid kit test done because unfortunately dito sa Canada kapag nagpa-test ka na ng PCR test and you come out positive um, your next test uh, they would basically just give you a rapid test just to make sure that is if you want to reconfirm na kung negative ka na o hindi but for other people they don't even bother they don't advise just as long as you do your your quarantine at home and you wait out and you follow the health guidelines um, okay na yun. but because we have like I said my husband sick and grandma we wanted to make sure that everyone is safe and everyone is negative before my husband comes back home so ang nangyari nun 10 days after right. not 10 days after 14 days later um, we had to test Rigel, myself, and the two girls, Kayla and Kiana. And then, so, Kiana and I still had a slight COVID, and so we stayed in one room. We isolated ourselves in one room. And for Hope and Rigel, they tested negative, so we were like rejoicing, we started yelling and screaming, and we were so happy for them. And, and that was the only time that they were allowed to go out but uh, but they were still being very careful because they can still 
get the virus back and even though yung immunity mo meron ka pa ring virus sa katawan mo for 3 months na hindi ka ma hindi ka magkakasakit still you have to be very careful so i told the kids they can go uh, wear mask you know sanitize cuz i don't even know how we got sick the first day. Kasi to begin with for the past 2 years talagang magingat ako sa bahay i would this day i would disinfect every day and we would general clean every week hold on sorry nagring yung phone ko cuz um that was Fraser Health, which is mom's home care support. They were just following up on uh, on the services yesterday. Uh, so, like I said, once a week, we general clean kami, and then every day I would wipe down all the things na alam namin na hinahawakan namin na I would disinfect that. But then now uh, we have to be really, really um, even more careful because um, my husband um, is starting chemo today. So, I don't say he is going to have chemo. This is his healing day today. It's his first healing day. And we are kind of excited. Uh, pero at the same time, anxious. You know, you know the feeling. Pero, back to what was I was saying. Uh, so, after that, um, nung, nung nakapag-disinfect na kami and everything, um, Kasi nga, meron pa kaming mild symptoms ni Kiana. So, I told the kids, so maybe we should get tested uh, after a week later na lang. So, mag-extra precaution pa kami. So, extra precaution pa kami. And during this time, yung one week na yon, my husband was staying in a hotel, like I said. And it was sad because um, he had a procedure done where they had to put some line dito sa dibdib niya. And I couldn't go to the hospital with him. So, a friend of mine... Um, I'm very grateful that God had sent us an angels to help us because during this time the whole really in a family got sick and they we all tested positive so none of us can actually help or even come close to my husband's hotel even to visit so I'm very very grateful for um, friends who step out of their way to help us and help my husband during this stuff moment of his life na wala ako doon. I wanna give a shout out to Pat, Melvin, thank you so much for buying those honey and for buying snacks for him and bringing it to the hotel. And uh, thank you for Saul for cooking him some food, dinner to bring to the hotel. That's Saul Salas and Tata, thank you so much. Uh, you don't know how much it means to me. Um, I'm forever grateful. Ganun din, lalong lalo na kila ko. Oh, I'm gonna tear up. Kila Ate Annie, Australia, Kuya Bons, Australia. Oh, Ate Laila Custodio. They were so wonderful and comforting. And Miss Kinaki Snow, it was, it was hard that week. Um, they went, bring us some food kasi hindi rin ako makaluto. I was sick, I was down. <clears throat> hindi kami makapag-grocery um, walang makalabas sa amin because we were all sick so Ate Annie from North Van had to drive all the way here oh well, Kuya Pons had to drive Ate Annie to grab us some um, food medication and cook us some med um, tinola para uh, makakain lang kami and to have some hot food in our stomach and um and then after dropping off the tinola here, they would go. Sh they went to Costco and grab some food for Reggie. And then they went to the hotel and gave Reggie some food para may makain si Reggie. Kasi nung umalis siya sa bahay, wala siyang nadalang groceries. Uh, and then also, um, uh, a big thanks to Kuya Raymond, yung older brother nila dito sa Canada na nagdala rin ng pagkain and also mga veggies na he needed to juice when he was in the hotel now like I said pinala lang niya yung sarili niya tsaka yung kung ano man yung vitamins and medications and clothes niya sa hotel and he had to leave right away I, I didn't want him to stay any longer sa bahay kasi now we were all positive so maraming maraming salamat sa kanila um, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo from the bottom of my heart you don't know how thankful I am sa mga katulad nyo na hindi ko inakala na tutulong yet you guys are here na 
na who continually supports us love sa sa trials na nangyayari sa amin ngayon so nagpapasalamat ako kay God most of all kay God na they've given me and Reggie such wonderful friends and relatives who truly loves us and who cares for us so thank you guys love you so much so after that a week later um i asked reggie i, I asked rigel and um and hope to get us tested because after reggie came home from the hospital ati annie and kuya pons and ati Lila had to pick up reggie sila rin ang nagdala kay reggie sa hospital at nag-alaga kay reggie sa hotel habang siya yung nagpapagaling after her, his surgery so really grateful again thank you thank you thank you um after that um the bc cancer had called my husband and said that he will start chemo in two days so my husband spoke to them and said hindi pa siya ready kasi wala pa siyang uuwi ang bahay and we, and and he needed to make sure that i am negative and my other daughter is negative so nung time na yon we want really like we, we we wanted to speed up our recovery and um, God here heard our prayers and um, he so nagpa-test kami nag, we had a rapid test done and then after the rapid test done um, me and Kiana turned out to be negative so another celebration we were screaming even though we didn't have it or we didn't have our voice and then we were told by Fraser Health na the lingering cough the occasional stuffy nose or any nose or headaches or whatever it is it will continue coming in it will be in our system for a while and it won't go away sometimes it might take a month sometimes it might take two weeks it depends on a person's health or sometimes it might take three weeks or even longer so okay lang daw yon. um and so we asked them if okay lang to my husband na muna dito and so what, what i did when they said yes and we had a go signal i cleaned up downstairs um because we have a place downstairs uh i'll show you later and then um i made sure na sterile sa baba because he would start chemo soon and okay guys so we are here at bc cancer and we're just waiting for reggie to get called in but for his time so he can start his chemo so um, yeah we'll see you when we get when we get to uh, check in inside okay guys we are here on reggie's first chemo run as you can see um it's very quiet here i can't vlog i can't talk very loud but i'll show you around so, nandito lang ako, naghihintay. Ang chemo ni Reggie is a uh, three-hour run. Nakala namin two-hour run. Uh, he gets um, four medications here and one at home. May yung uwi niya. And then yung huli niyang medicine na inuuwi niya, it will stay with him for two days. And then balik kami dito, tatanggalin ulit. But I'll talk about that once we get home. But for now, yes, um, I'm starting his journey of healing and thank you so much sa mga nanonoho that support us amin and also please continue praying for my husband's past recovery so um talk to you soon when I get home so nandito pa rin kami sa hospital um, Reggie has another 40 minutes but to continue on dun sa bahay where I left off so nung nag negative na kami um I cleaned the basement and we decided na si Reggie is safer to stay downstairs habang nagpapatreatment siya and then from there <clears throat> uh, we told uh, Reggie that he could come home because it's safe for him to come home so I uh, stay siya sa hotel uh, more than almost more than a week I think <clears throat> and then from there he stayed downstairs and then I just bring him his food and then uh, yeah so may sarili siyang sweets sa baba and later on I'll show you where he is staying and but right now we're at the hospital uh, this is his first treatment 
and also just to let you know see mom um last saturday nag negative na rin siya so it all worked out good and now she is also back ng regular run niya sa dialysis and kasi nung na positive siya nung na positive siya we weren't allowed to um na pasakayin siya sa handy diet her regular bus driver that would take her sa dialysis we had to drive her to and from dialysis and then iniba yung schedule niya kasi kailangan siya ma-isolate but then now that everything is okay she's back to her regular schedule so it's easier for me uh, sobrang na busy ako wasn't able to vlog I wasn't able to update you guys on how I was talagang super busy didn't even have time for my for myself I wasn't eating properly I was nandan parang nabinat ako masakit ang katawang ko limit yeah. um, siguro pagod and stuff but it all worked out and um, now that Reggie is here he's starting his healing process his first day of chemo and I am hoping with all your prayers na gagaling ang asawa ko with all your support and love na he, we will pull through this together and uh, Papasalamat din ako kay Farah because uh, during those times that we were sick and Reggie was not uh, was in the hotel, she remembered my birthday and she actually sent some pancit and cake. So Farah Villa, thank you so much. Um, really appreciate your thoughtfulness and your kindness. Thank you. Um, din ako ng cake to blow on my birthday. Um, during that time na malungkot lahat may sakit and then couldn't be with my husband so thank you sa <clears throat> mga tumulong thank you sa support and don't forget to like and subscribe and share for anyone who is going through um, cancer just keep fighting uh, keep the positive thoughts do what you can, stay active, stay healthy, um, spend your time with your loved ones, and don't forget to pray. In half an hour, we'll be going home, and finally, maybe I can uh, eat lunch, because I forgot to eat lunch, and I have some laundry at home, and I'm using my bed with Reggie, I'm using my bed if he's feeling tired um, there's a lot of information today that um, went on and to digest and to consider but I'm hoping that makakayanan energy and that there's no side effects and that he would be up and about and um, yeah again thank you so much to some of my friends relatives who helped us out through this uh, holiday season there are tough times, they also gave um, Kuya Jr., Ate Marvin, um, Kay Ate Vic, um, and uh, relatives that extended their regards to us. Thank you.